Hello, first grade virtual learners. I hope you are having a wonderful Tuesday. We had a long weekend, so we have to work extra hard this week because we are short one day. So Ms. Gates is back to introduce to you our first two vocabulary words for this week. So don't forget last week's vocabulary words, rapidly, delighted, bold, and timid. We were gonna to continue to review and every week we're gonna learn four new vocabulary words. So our first vocabulary word this week is memory. Memory, E-M-O-R-Y, memory. This boy is thinking about a he has had. He's thinking about his last birthday when he had his cake and he opened his present and he got this toy. So we all have memories. In our story this week, when I was little, this girl is talking about all her memories from when she was a little kid. So think about the memories you have. Maybe there's memories you have from when you were in kindergarten. Maybe you have memories from when you were in preschool. Maybe you have a memory of when your little brother or sister was born. Maybe you have a memory of that one time you got to go to your grandma's house or your Titi's house, or you had the best birthday party ever when you turned three or four or five. We all have memories, and memories are things that have happened in the past that we remember. So as we read or as you listen to When I Was Little, think about all the memories she's having, and it might trigger you to have some memories as well. So I want you to think about and pause this video and tell someone around you, what is one happy memory you have had? What is one happy memory that you have? Pause the video and once you share your memory, come back for the next vocab word. Great job. I can't wait to hear about these happy memories. Memories are great. Some things we remember, some things we don't remember. We have good memories and we have bad memories. So our next vocabulary word, a big word, but we can do it. Independent, independent, I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T, independent. You are independent when you can do something all by yourself. So again, this little girl, when she was little, was not very independent. She couldn't do a lot of things by herself. But as you grow older, you become more and more independent. So this girl can make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich all by herself. She is independent. When you do your homework or your work at home all by yourself, we call that independent work. Work that you can do without anybody having to help you. So every day, I want you to try to do at least some of your assignments independently, all by yourself. So can you think of something right now that you already know how to do independently? What's one thing you do independently? Stop this video and tell someone. Great job. As you grow older, day after day, you become more independent. Every day, you learn how to do more and more things, whether it's ride your bike, learn how to do more chores at home, become better at your reading, become more independent at your math. Every single day, we become more independent. So our first two vocabulary words for this week, memory and independent. So on Seesaw, I would like you to draw a picture of a memory you have. I also want you to draw a picture of something that you can do all by yourself or something you can do independently. Can't wait to see and make sure you use the microphone to explain your pictures.